But what does that what does it mean in Ishtibi 2? In Ishtibi 2, there is no such limit. There is no such pool in the client side. There is a maximum concurrent stream that can be negotiated between the server and the client. The server say, hey, this is the maximum number of concurrent streams. I.e., if you have, this is how many streams can be open at a given time, which kind of, you can think of it as stream as a request in HTTP 2. In this particular case, it's, it's the same. Now, gRPC overloads that and uses it for bidirectional stuff and way more features. But let's keep it simple. Request response. We love that stuff. So that default is, I think it's 100, sometimes 200, but 100 is still a lot. So that is why if you ever run into this problem before, I mean, when, when HTTP got popular, the moment you switch HTTP2, it's just a bit that say, hey, server now supports HTTP2. You just advertise that in your uh, ALPN during TLS. And the client, Chrome's, of course, supported your websites. All of a sudden, sometimes you start seeing failures. Why? Because the client will just send request. There is no pool anymore. There's just, oh, I can send 100 requests. When I used to send six at a time, I can send 100. It will just send. There is no queue anymore for a connection pool. It doesn't exist. It's one connection and then you, just, you can send all these requests at the same time. And what happens is back and started getting overloaded by just turning that bit. Many examples on the web, you can see this. And of course, the solution is add more hardware to the backend, spin up more servers. That works. But without understanding the core of the problem, you'll, want, you'll be left wondering what happened. And to me, that's not the way I work as an engineer. I always want to get to the bottom of things.